Hello, James from Elite. Uh, before we start this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps the channel and yeah, really gets us out there. So this is a quick video. Uh, we're back on a heat pump that's having some issues with heating up the house at the moment. It's an LG outside LG heat pump, quite a sizable property actually. Um, so just a quick video of uh, really a real issue with hot water returns. So I know that uh, Heat Geek have touched on this before and combating it, this, combating it. I'd like to talk to a real world scenario and what's happening right now and how it's hampering the heating. And I think this is the main effect of why the heating isn't uh, getting hot. It's because of this hot water return. So we've got clamps on the hot water return and the hot going out. So what it'll do, a hot water return pump, it will uh, take the hot to the end point of the property, circle it back into the cylinder. Currently, this uh, has got a timer on it and it's from seven in the morning till 10 at night. So it's all day, that hot water return pump is going, going, going and going. We are going out at 56 degrees and coming back at 41 degrees. Let's see if we can get that up there. 56 degrees going out, 41 degrees coming back. So what that is saying is, and it's, and it's creeping up, what that's saying is through that loop going out of out of the heat air, out of the cylinder coming back, it's losing between five and six degrees. It's 5.4 degrees right now. If this pump's running at maybe five or 10 liters per minute, let's say it's 10 liters per minute, this is a 250 litre drum. You know, every every 20 minutes, it's losing that temperature. I can't do the mass off my head. Yeah, it was 46 degrees, not 56 degrees. Sorry about that. Also, with that cylinder being 250 litre cylinder and the circulation pump running about 10 litres per minute, that cylinder is going to drop 10 degrees every 25 minutes. Uh, the customer was reporting that because he was seeing an energy spike every half an hour. It's going back because of hot water and not heating up the property. Hey, but I just do, do a quick, quick sum, and this is going to have to replenish a couple of times a day. When it has to go back over to hot water because it's got a hysteresis of ten, it's going back over to hot water, coming away from heating, and hampering that you know that uh, heating, maintaining its temperature and, and adding to the thermal mass. So this is a main, main problem, a simple problem to overcome, but it can be a massive problem without even knowing about it. So what we're gonna do is obviously alter the time to what the customer actually needs it to just before they get into the shower, uh, if they've got you know standard patterns during the day. But most importantly, once it has a return temperature of 30 degrees, 40 degrees, something like that, then it does switch off, but con it's continuously running around them times at the moment. So what we can do is, Give it a time, but once it's got back, it shuts it off. So just putting a pipe stat in the way. Say Adam Chapman from Heat Geek has, uh, has done a video on this um, before on a commercial property. I just wanted to show you domestically and live and what it's actually doing now. We are currently up to six degrees. It's huge. Six degree loss every time it circulates that loop. It's massive. It's like a radiator circuit. So yeah, quick video of how something really, really simple and really simple to overcome have massive effects on on the heating and hot water overall run costs efficiency and just losing real confidence with a heat pump this they are good uh, we try and keep away from them as much as possible but when we do put a hot water return pump in because the house is so long and the end point is so far away you've really got to be careful of how you can restrict that say with a timer and with a pipe stat so we'll put this on and it only sends it out when it needs to and turns off when it ha you know it can do as quick as possible and gives that customer not a hot start just a warm start to the tap and then it starts to bring it through so yeah something really simple so we've got the stats on there now I calculate and we are currently up to seven degrees uh, probably uh, probably end up at 10 degrees so that is is absolutely massive um, along with that this this video is more about hot water return but along with that the stats all over the place underfloor stats radiator stats um, this this particular heat pump was retrofitted onto the current uh, existing underfloor so it was from an LPG boiler we don't know what the underfloors got pipe sizes are pipe spaces are and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is send them stats right to the top to 30 degrees and just dialing that weather compensation curve 
to the comfort levels of that customer and then they can maybe bring them thermostats back to an overheat temperature of maybe 22. So until we can really let loose the heat pump and see what it can actually do instead of being hampered by on and off stats all the time, we're never going to know. So yeah, we're going to turn the thermostats right up to 30, keep the heat pump running continuously as long as possible on the heating side, get rid of that problem with the uh, hot water retain uh, so it doesn't have to go back over to hot water dialing that weather compensation and uh, yeah and then see what the heat pump can actually do if we aren't gaining temperature then we can look at was the underfloor uh, installation a problem but until then and we get the control methodology correct uh, and letting the heat pump see what it can achieve then we're not going to know so yeah a quick video please subscribe to our youtube channel and um, the last video is a real success so win-win and yeah uh, if you need a heat pump help check from me i'm happy to come and have a look at your heat uh, uh heat pump as i say sometimes it can be really really simple um and if we do installations of SOS heat pumps air conditioning solar battery everything renewable energy so please subscribe thank you for listening and also uh, apologies about the cap it's a bad hair day <laughs>